Hey guys, so I am going to do our July 2017 Walt Disney World trip recap. This was an annual pass trip. This was supposed to be our last annual pass trip. We ended up getting to book one more, uh, but the details of the trip were, this was our first big trip of our annual pass and we were, you know, two months out from it expiring. We um, kind of made this one a budget trip. We figured since we were going for so long, we would, you know, do some things to kind of make it more budget friendly and things like that. Uh, we did two adults, four kids, uh, no dining plan. The tickets were our annual pass and we stayed at Port Orleans Riverside. This trip, we also went with friends. So we got to meet up with them throughout the trip. So we also got to visit their hotel and they stayed a few nights at Port Orleans French Quarter, which was really, really cool. If you are gonna go with someone and you know you maybe don't wanna stay in the same resort, but you wanna be close by, doing that was pretty cool. And then they went to Old Key West and we also got to go there with them. Okay, so we went in and we went in with the ADR list of T-Rex, Be Our Guest Lunch, Via Napoli, Whispering Canyon Cafe, Mama Melrose, and Tusker House. We did um, two Animal Kingdom days with one with fast passes, one without. Uh, we did two Magic Kingdom days, possibly a third, and then we did one Hollywood Studios day and two Epcot days. That's how we had planned it. Okay, so we left super early on Sunday morning. Um, I'm trying to see what time we left. Okay, we left at 5 a.m. to go to Disney that Saturday, and we were there for lunch. So we don't live super far away from Disney. If we didn't have to stop at all, we could probably do it in six to seven hours. If we leave at this like four, five o'clock in the morning time, we get there extremely fast. We get there with stops, with going to the bathroom, with eating breakfast at like, in like seven hours. Like it's insane, like we don't hit any traffic at all. So that day we had stopped for breakfast at McDonald's for 22 bucks, like something super, super cheap. And we had planned to go to Magic Kingdom because we had fast passes for Space, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and Peter Pan. And then we were gonna meet our friends at uh, Disney Springs, or excuse me, is that what it's called now? Yeah, Disney Springs for dinner at T-Rex. So we did just kind of a few hours at Magic Kingdom. We grabbed some free water from Gaston's. We did our fast passes and the Barnstormer. We checked into our hotel and then we got right on the little boat thing to go to Disney Springs. Something we found out, if it is even remotely looking like it's going to thunder and lightning, those boats stop. So it was a real pain to try to find a bus to get us all back to them to French Quarter, us to uh, Riverside. We had a water view room, I think is what, no, we had a garden view room, but we were extremely close to one of the pools. We were kind of far from the parking lot, which bummed us out because this whole trip, we did not take the buses once we had our car. We have gotten over using, oh no, we did take our bus, the bus once to come back this night. Um, we're just not bus people anymore. We really like taking our car. It's just much easier for us that way. Um, so we spent 1063 in the parks. We really like stopping in the Gaston's. If it's hot, they have like nice big water coolers out and you can just fill up with ice water and um, kind of cool off and just relax a little bit. And it's just kind of a quieter time to be there. We had the alligator bayou rooms. We loved Port Orleans Riverside. We forgot how much we loved Port Orleans Riverside. Those, um, so we got after we just kind of quickly did that at, at you know Magic Kingdom, and I think that's the beauty of having an annual pass is you can go there for a few hours and it's no big deal. Um, but then we went and got checked into our our hotel room. We got the kids bathed and we kind of unpacked a little bit and all that stuff, and um, we went to T Rex. So we had bought a Landry's Club for my husband because it was his birthday month. So that was twenty five dollars, which we got fifty dollars back. And then we bought a $50 gift card for $40 and then we paid $40 out of pocket. So it was 80, 90, uh, 
$105 for us to all to eat. And so we had um, the big kids shared an adult meal. The little kids each got a kid's meal. We got two adult meals and we had the extinction dessert, which is like a huge dessert. Um, the Cobb salad is hands down my favorite thing at T-Rex. I really, really like that meal. The kids, I believe they liked their... Um, their ribs I can't remember uh, but we had a lot of fun it was all of us at the table my friends family and our family it was nice seeing them again because we had just hung out with them in March and we just had like kind of a low-key dinner we walked out of Disney Springs and I don't even think we did shopping we just kind of like walked back to our hotel room yeah we walked back to our hotel room because we wanted to swim um, but it's such a good dinner we really really like it and then we went to their hotel we just drove and we uh swam at their pool and i honestly think the main pool river uh french quarter has a better pool our kids loved that pool they really really enjoyed it so we swam for a little bit that night and then we went and got beignets and that was about five dollars and change and no one really liked them besides me um and i even had mine like i had one or two the night before and then the next morning we finished them off because we forgot about them so it was probably a waste of money um, but it was just one of those things where you're at French Quarter. It's just what you do at French Quarter. And we really, really liked it. We went and looked in their room and their room was definitely smaller than ours. However, I would stay at French Quarter. I think it's a really, really cool resort. And like our kids all want to stay there. So that's something that we may consider in the future. That's definitely a really, really cool resort. And it's so small. Um... So then the next day we went to Animal Kingdom. We just kind of had breakfast in our room. We had bought a lot of food and just kind of brought it with us. Um, my husband did get me a lemonade guava, like alcoholic drink. It's right near Everest. He got it for me right before Trevor and him went on Everest. It was $10 and it was really good, but it was really weak. It wasn't a strong drink. And if I'm paying $10, I want to, I want to feel like I'm getting alcohol in my drink. Um, that day everyone packed lunches or i brought packed lunches for everyone and then trevor and i split the whole pandora combo so we got a drink we got the rice and herb sauce with beef and um i think it's rice not quinoa and then we had the little like cheesecake blue yellow thing and it was so good it was 22 dollars for he and i to share this meal we went in knowing that that was going to be a meal that he and I were going to get because we wanted to try it. The other ones weren't as, you know, they didn't care as much. Such an amazing meal. It's better than some of the table service meals I've had at Disney. Like, real good. I like the way that they make people buy food there that are going to sit inside. It has refillable drinks, which is, which is huge for us. We really like being able to get a drink and down it and then be able to get another one. Um cannot say enough about that quick service spot in pandora we also got to see pandora that was the first time we saw pandora and it is like nothing you have ever seen in your life and you see it during the day and you think this is amazing and then you go back at night and you're just like i i, can't, I have no words like honestly if that is what disney is doing right now and if that is why that it is just a huge construction zone you know you look at what they did at disney springs and you look at this you're like you know what it sucks the construction stuff sucks but it is so worth it like we were just dumped on it like you're just walking around with your mouth open and you look around and everyone's doing the same thing it is just like nothing i've ever seen um we went and did the safari that animals were extremely active at that time in the morning it was like 10 o'clock in the morning like the lions were roaring it was just insane and then we walked over to cali and we did a um free fast pass because there was something wrong with my magic band and we had to keep going back to customer service and so we ended up getting free fast passes and all kinds of random stuff um and then we uh had our alarm system go off so we missed our last fast patch pass which was everest and they heard us talking to our son about it saying you know we're not gonna be able to do this and they let us go through because they saw that like we like our alarm was going off at home we had to wait for the cops to call us and come check out the house like it was just a headache um so that was really cool and it was one of those like disney magic things and then we went ahead and stopped because this trip it was hot um, my husband was miserable. We've, we've learned that he cannot handle heat at all. Um, the kids were very sweaty and very hot and they got tired and kind of sick of it a lot. And we would just come back and kind of, we, we really took advantage of like breaks this trip, like coming back to the hotel room for a little bit and going back later. 
But so we got, because I got a drink, I didn't bother getting an ice cream, but we got the kids all got some Mickey bars and Jeff got a cone and it was around $24 for all of that. Um, we finished off by doing Triceratops spin. I went and got some Starbucks on a free gift card. We did It's Tough to Be a Bug. Um, and then my husband and the kids all went to go and do uh, Flight of Passage. That is honestly one of the coolest rides I have ever ridden in my entire life. And I didn't even grasp half of it. Like whenever I, cause I rode it after with the kids and they only let three people in on that rider swap. So you need to make sure if, if you're a family like ours. So my husband and all the kids went through first on their fast pass. I went through next on my fast pass and three of my kids used the rider swap. That's how we had to use it because they're not gonna let you go through without it. So don't try to play games and try to say, oh, well, we're not gonna get me a fast pass because we'll do the rider swap. That's not gonna work here. They won't let you through. So they went and did the ride um, with our fast pass and I waited and then I went and did it and then like we talked about it again and like there was stuff I missed that I didn't even see there. Like it was just, honestly, that ride is just absolutely amazing like we rode both of the rides and we've ridden both of them a couple times now and flight of passage fast pass it you often see the navi go down like at night you can see it go down to 15 to 20 minutes so you know wait then or maybe rope drop that one but flight of passage get yourself a fast pass for it it is worth it just oh my god it is worth it. it is such a cool ride even if you've never seen the movie and you know nothing about it they explain it enough that you get it and just it's just like nothing I've ever seen. Like it is really, really cool. Um, it was raining. So we, um, went ahead and left, um, after doing all that. And then we ended up getting three different burgers to try at our food court. Um, and the kids just kind of ate some mac and cheese and some of the burgers that we had and it was $43 for all of the burgers and fries. At this point in time we went ahead and grabbed one refillable mug so that I could have tea and my husband could have soda and we would just keep refilling it you know between the two of us and it was fine. Um, the kids loved Pandora. Uh, it says that we felt that the park was busier than Pandora itself. Um, we could have just spent hours walking around um and then the next day we planned to go to hollywood studios so we rope drop hollywood studios the next day and we did uh toy story midway mania and waited maybe 10 minutes even though it said about 25 and then we met star lord and groot um star lord really kind of seemed annoyed because all the kids go to groot and so i was like you know maybe it was just we had a bad guy that day but i was like that kind of like bummed me out um, from there, we went to go see Disney Junior for my littlest, and she just, she's, she hadn't turned five yet. She was a few months shy of five, and she still loves that show, and it had been a few years since we saw it, and she just loves that show. Like, if you have little kids, you gotta take them there. It's just so cool. Um, and then we split up and did our fast passes for Toy Story Midway Mania and Rock and Roller Coaster. And then we met up at Beauty and the Beast. That was my first time seeing that show. And I'm a huge Beauty and the Beast fan, if anyone knows. And I just did not like it at all. Like, it was a little bit cheesy. Just, I love the song parts, but like the acting parts, it was just, it was a little too cheesy for me. Um, after that, we just kind of had some stuff that we had brought from home, some snacks and water and stuff like that. And then we did the Star Wars, our Star Tours, excuse me, Fast Pass, followed by Muppets, which we just got for free. Um, and then now we were waiting in line for, uh, so I did Frozen with the girls and Jeff and Trevor went and did Tower of Terror. And then we met up at Mama Melrose. Frozen takes forever. If you get a Fast Pass, you're there really early. Um, so we ended up almost being late for Mama Melrose and Jeff had to actually go and kind of like hold our spot for us there. We had an amazing waitress. She let all of the kids order off the kids menu, which Trevor should have been having to order off of the adults menu. Um, I got the steak. We had a pizza, a couple meatball dishes, another pizza, and then it looks like a chicken parm. I swear that they have the best steak on property. We also got three of the little ice cream sundaes and then one of the cupcakes that comes with the upcharge and it was $120 with tip for us all to eat there. I say that Mama Miller's has the best steak on property. I think it's amazing. I think it's one of the best places to eat there, especially if you're an adult. Like if you live there and you could do date night there, that would be the place to go. 
Um, and we just really liked it. And there was someone having a medical emergency there and I saw the way that the staff were handling it. And it was just a really, really, we just really liked that. We've had one bad waitress there, which kind of made us not go back for a year, but it's one of those places we'll go every time because we just really, really think it's a good value at Disney. Um, after this day, we decide, or after that lunch, we're kind of done with Hollywood Studios like that. It really is a half day park for us. There's just not a lot going on for us. And so we ended up, we ended up spending a better part of this day just going to the Port Orleans Riverside slide and swimming with the kids. It was raining off and on, so we had to keep getting out of the pool, but the kids loved it. And honestly, even though they're still moving around swimming, it just gives their legs a break and it gives their body a break. And it, you get out of the heat and you cool off and you just feel so much more refreshed and just better. Um, so yeah, like we're, we really do like, you know, the resorts that we stay at having a slide. It's a huge thing. The kids really love it. The only one that won't really ride it is Ellie. Casey will do most of them. Um, so that's something that's kind of important to us is having that ability to have a slide now, you know, it's, it's, yeah, they like art of animation pools, but they really, really love having, you know, those moderate and deluxe slides. Um, this night we ended up going to Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom at night is so much fun. It's honestly my favorite time to be there. Animal Kingdom for us, we like to go there, rope drop, do a bunch of fast passes, and then come back at night. Um, it's just a really, really cool park to be there at night. We ended up getting a popcorn bucket for $10. It would have been $1.50 to fill it up. We never ended up filling it up, so we kind of like lost money on that. But the kids do like having these little bins, but I wish we would have... We brought it even to park sometimes, but we never wanted to stop and fill it up. It was silly. Um, but that day we had like swam, and then we just ate in our room. We heated up leftovers, and we um, had stuff that we had, like raviolis or whatever. And so then we went and did two wilderness explorer stops which that was something that we started and if you're gonna go to disney a lot i think that that's something definitely to do with your kids our kids loved it they thought it was so much fun um we did dinosaur primeval and triceratops spin twice we did a bunch of dance parties and then we just walked around pandora we waited in line for the navi river ride um and we just kind of like enjoyed Pandora at night. My stomach was a mess this night. I was in so much pain. Like it was just really bad. Um, but my kids really loved just kind of walking around Pandora. We actually met a subscriber of ours and it was just a really, really nice night. And it was, we didn't feel bad because we were like, we had, we, had, we, kept, we kept like having like early nights or, you know, this day we kind of stopped in the middle of the day. Like we didn't feel, we've learned that you really do have to pace yourself at Disney. You can't just go 24 seven or you're going to end up, you know, just crapping out. Uh, the next day we went and we started at Magic Kingdom with our friends. Um, we did real close to rope drop and we did Buzz Lightyear Stitch Space and then um, the Seven Doors Mine Train Fast Pass with our friends. From there we had lunch. We did $60 for three adult meals and two cupcakes and we filled up our water bottles at Be Our Guest. We love Be Our Guest. It's just such a fun place. Um, now we no longer get cupcakes there. I'm the only one that gets one because I love the gray stuff. Uh, we always tell our kids, you know, let's go to Big Top or something afterwards and get you guys a snack that's worth the money that you're paying. You know, you can pay $5 for a little tiny cupcake like this or you can pay $5 for a huge cookie at Big Top. You know what I mean? Like, choose it wisely. From there, we went to our second Fast Pass with our friends, which was Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. In that line, I made one for Pirates because once you use your third Fast Pass, like once you scan it, get on that app and start making Fast Passes for the next one. So we did Pirates, and there I made one for Small World. After looking at a few stores in between, we left and we were in our room by 2.30. We took a nap until about 4.30, and then we had more leftovers. This night we went to the uh, food court and we got ice cream scoops. Ice cream scoops are so much cheaper. $15 for all for us to have six ice cream scoops with toppings and all kinds of stuff on it, where it would have been like $30 to have Mickey bars. So if you can, do the ice cream scoops. It's so much cheaper and you get more ice cream and it's just such a better value. Um, and then we ended up going back to Magic Kingdom that night and we did Peter Pan Fast Pass, Dumbo, Ariel. We grabbed more water. Um, my husband got this giant cookie from uh, Big Top for $4.39 and we just sat and watched the new fireworks and just enjoyed it. Um, we did Philhar Magic that day, Haunted Mansion, ended with Splash Mountain. Um, and... It says we were in bed around 1.30 as I made everyone shower before getting into bed and they all passed out and slept until 9.30. Yeah, so we stayed up real late this night. That's what we did. 
Um, so it was just a nice long day because the next day we planned on just swimming with our friends. So we slept in that morning. We went to our friend's resort at Old Key West. I threw in a load of laundry because we planned on, I had planned enough outfits for us all to have like a day and like an extra or two shirts so that we could kind of like, you know, midday you feel gross. Um, but then like we did laundry there. We just got to hang out with our friends and we had some like drinks by the pool. Well, the adults did. Um, and we ended up getting two burgers and two chicken nuggets for $41 at their resort. And then we went to Epcot that night. Epcot was so dead this trip. I don't know why it was July 4th week, but Epcot, nobody was there. So we did Epcot that night and we did Nemo Fast Pass. We walked the World Showcase, grabbed some popcorn for $4 and a slush from France for 11. Um, and it was just low key. The kids were like pin trading. They were walking around, hanging out with each other. We did dinner at um, Electric Umbrella, which is an insane deal. It's It was $47 and we got tons of burgers and kids meals um, and everyone was so full. And then we finished with Test Tract and it was just a nice low key, real chill day, like what we needed middle of our trip. Um, it just kind of really rejuvenated all of us. Plus we got to hang out with friends all day. So the kids were kind of out of our hair. So, you know, when you're in Disney and you're with your kids 24 seven, it is nice to kind of have a little bit of a break. The next morning we did at Epcot rope drop. This is our two like Epcot days where we kind of did like two half days, if that makes any sense. And this day was dead. I mean, crickets were in Epcot. We did um, Epcot rope drop. So we did Soren and we could have done it twice or three times if we wanted to. Then we went and did Living with the Land, Baymax, Epcot Character Spot, the Pixar Show, Figment, and then we did our Frozen Fast Pass. And then we grabbed a snack and headed to um, via Napoli. We ended up getting another test track fast pass. We got to do that as well. And we had um, dinner at our lunch at test at uh, via Napoli. Um, this day we also kind of like grabbed some snacks and stuff like that. So we did, um, it was like a little heart, like bear claw looking thing from France. Aubrey got macaroons. That was $15. We grabbed a cronut for the boys from Canada for $5. Um, and then we did that last fast pass for test track that we had grabbed last minute. Um, it was just so quiet in Epcot that day. And then we headed back to our resort and we just swam all night and just enjoyed it. We had dinner in our room again. Like it was just so chill. It was just... It was what we needed, like a couple days of just relaxed. Our last full day at Disney was a very packed one. Um, we did bus that day because we did we did plan on doing a lot of like hopping around. Um, so we did Magic Kingdom all day. And then that night we had Whispering Canyon Cafe with our friends. My husband had woken up early that morning for extra magic hours. And he went and got all my kids some banshees because I really wanted banshees. Um, he brought my oldest with him and he was able to get three. They said it was a limit one per person. He said, can you look and see on my fast pass? I have four kids. All I want is three. And they let him do that. Um, so that morning we had Starbucks with the rest of our gift card. And it was about $24. Um... And then we did Space, we met Stitch, we did the Teacups, we did the Fast Pass for Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Space Mountain, and Seven Doors Mine Train. And then <coughs> we kind of monorail crawled with our friends. We did all, of, this whole day was with our friends again. We monorail crawled and that was a lot of fun, just going into the different shops and seeing the different hotels and all that stuff. And then, and we were just all tired. Like her family was tired. We were tired. It was really crowded. It was really hot. We were just like sloths walking around. But it was, again, we had so much fun. The kids had so much fun, you know. It's just, it's really fun to go to Disney with people that like Disney as much as you do. You know, friends of yours, your kids get along. It was just a really good trip. Aubrey got to meet her favorite Stitch, which was good. And then we went to dinner at, R at Whispering Canyon Cafe. And I can say that I don't think we'll be back there for a little while. The service was pretty crappy. The food was not that great. And we just didn't feel like it was a good value. <coughs> we ended up spending $113. And Jeff and my friend's husband split the big platter thing. Jeff got a milkshake. I don't remember what I got. And I don't think I said it here. Oh, I got a steak and it wasn't good. Um, the boys 
her one of her sons and I think one of my sons shared the ribs and they were they were like they're not good at all um, then we had some kids meals in there so it was just we won't be back for a little while our first time there was amazing but this time we had a crappy waitress the food just wasn't good that time so we figure we'll take you know a break from there and then we headed to magic kingdom that night we just did buzz fast pass and then dumbo and then we headed out of the park and we said our goodbyes and we said goodbyes to our friends and we said goodbyes to the park and it was just a lot of fun you know going to magic kingdom most times with with our friends none of our kids wanted to ride with us like jeff and i actually got to ride dumbo together as our last ride um it was just a lot of fun we just we really really enjoyed this trip it was just something that we really needed um that sunday morning we kind of woke up we packed up and we had headed to animal kingdom we planned to stay all day, but I was just in a lot of pain. I had thrown out my back the morning of that we left to go to Disney and it it was in I was in a lot of pain. I was I mean I was crying. I was in so much pain. Um throughout that entire trip it would get better and worse and you know things would change, but I was in a lot of pain and I was ready to go home and I was really fearing that car ride home. I thought it was going to take a lot longer than it was because it actually hurt to sit more than anything. Um, so we made it to Pandora one last time. We fast passed the flight of passage again. And then no, the boys had flight of passage and the girls had Navi river. And so we got to do a rider swap to so the girls, you know, and I think some of the boys actually got to do, um, flight of passage again. And it was just, it was just so cool. Um, I saw things that I didn't see the first time and it was just, it was amazing. Um, we grabbed ice cream and brownies at the food court and we were home by eight it took us seven hours with a stop to get to disney and it took us eight hours with a stop to get home um i wrote in my notes that memory maker was worth every penny i never hand them my camera my phone anymore i just let them take pictures with you know the memory maker and i always love having them and you know it's just it's a good quality picture it's really really nice to have um, if we are going back in the future, we're not going to be annual pass holders. We will pay for the movie maker. We think it's totally worth it. And it's only worth it if you make it worth it. You know what I mean? Stopping to take pictures and stuff like that. Um, resort type. I said, we have now stayed at Pop twice, Art of Animation countless times, Riverside twice, Caribbean Beach Resort once, Cabins once, Yacht Club once. And I'll say that we love AOA, but it's getting pricey. And we prefer the moderates. We like the space, the pools, the slides, the overall higher end feel, not as loud if that makes any sense. Um, you know, we wish we could stay on the monorail, but we think that it's just a little bit, you know, too expensive for us. But, you know, Riverside is my favorite resort, hands down. It's just, I love it. It's just, each trip that we've been there, it's just a really good time. And it's just, we really like that resort. It feels like home for us. The dining plan, so I said we paid $861 for snacks, quick service, table service. We went in saying that we wanted to spend no more than $100 in snacks, the $100 we had for T-Rex, and I wanted to be at $650-ish for food. Um, we also bought a good amount of food, so we were a smidge over, but overall very happy with how we stayed on budget. Quick service would have been $15.59, and table service would have been $21.26 plus tips, which I would assume would have been around $150. Was it apples to apples? No. We ate all breakfast in our room. We packed at least once a day. Was it a pain in the butt sometimes? Yes. We had a super heavy bag that was a really pain to check and carry around all day. However, security guards were always in good spirits and we definitely weren't the only ones. We bought Gatorade powder and filtered bottles and just grabbed tons of free water and made them Gatorade for meals. Um, we did feel amazing this trip. We didn't feel that Disney like ugh, from eating all the food. Um, not to mention Disney food affects us pretty badly, and so we can't have a lot of it. Um, we didn't feel overstuffed or forced into eating, and we also get Disney cut big time, and we ended up we d end up sick, and we didn't this time. We also drank tons of water, not tons of sodas, etc. We also had the discount and ate cheap. If we had added Tusker House as planned, our budget would have been gone would have gone up almost two hundred dollars. Early on, we decided to skip it and just get a few more treats and enjoy um, that over a character meal so moderates love them can't say enough good things about them this trip we learned how good it felt to not be on the disney plan and is it nerve-wracking yes is it extra planning yes do you feel less on vacation yes however it's something that we kind of have to weigh you know i think if we plan on doing a few table service meals we may do like a split stay and kind of do like 
a few days on the dining plan and get all those ADRs out of the way and then have a few days at the end of our trip where it's not that way. Um, you know, the, the dining plan now does include alcoholic beverages for 2018. That's something to think about. Um, but yeah, it was an amazing trip. We had a lot of fun. And this is the trip that it like really solidified the fact that we love long trips. We're not a fan of short trips. We really, really need these long trips for us to feel that, you know, we can relax and take it easy and enjoy everything. And, you know, I think Pandora is our favorite park. I think it beats Magic Kingdom. You know, Magic Kingdom, yes, it's the castle and you're like, oh my God, I'm in Disney. Like that, you feel like you're in Disney, but Pandora is just on point. And I cannot wait to see what they do in Hollywood Studios with Star Wars and Toy Story. It's just, Pandora is like nothing I've ever seen before. So that trip, we actually didn't do a ton of souvenir buying or anything like that. I actually think the only thing I bought was an ornament. That's rare for me. Um, but you know, I'm learning to spend less at Disney and be able to go more and things like that. So thanks so much for watching. That was our trip report. If you have any questions, let me know down below. But now thankfully those vlogs are over. <laughs> it took me forever to get those ones out.